What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shane Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Now, guys, Dr. Umar Johnson has been in a lot of trouble. Are you serious, my brother? And I've already covered it on my main channel here where, you know, he was in the mall and he was buying incense from uh, what appeared to be an Asian lady, maybe a Persian lady, white or Latina lady. I'm not sure who she was, but Dr. Umar Johnson was in the mall uh, at this particular time dealing with this lady. And as it appears that he was purchasing some incense, it appears that some fans came and recognized who he was. He took some photos with them, uh, which is which is quite natural because, you know, like I said, Umar Johnson is quite popular on the Internet. He's real popular in Philadelphia. And the young lady asked him, you know, like, who are you? And he basically, um, you know, showed her who he was on YouTube. And she started seeing all of his videos. And it looks like Umar Johnson was acting quite favorable to the young lady. Um, you know, he was, you know, skinning and grinning, showing his teeth and stuff like that. And, um, and I think that it was a whole harmless episode. In my opinion, I mean, you know, Umar Johnson's a heterosexual man. You know, he's just, you know, just, just, just maybe talking or, 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 or being flirtatious. But I don't think he was trying to get her phone number. However, people who have received this particular video um, have pointed out that Dr. Umar Johnson's message is completely against what they saw in this video clip. And Umar Johnson doesn't believe in black people dating anybody non-black. Um, although this is not him trying to pick her up, but this is what's going on. Now, another popular YouTuber uh, who's had somewhat of a tiff before with Dr. Umar Johnson is Mr. Philip Scott of the Philip Scott Show. Now, he used to run, uh, he still runs the African Diaspora channel and Phil himself came under some, some unique fire about three to four years ago uh, when it was you know discovered that his his wife uh, was Latina, uh, and, and he does have similar talking points to uh, Dr. Umar Johnson, although not, albeit not as harsh. Uh, but he decided to weigh in on the information, and uh, I, I I really want you guys to hear it. I I, I like his take on it. Uh, but let's go ahead and play that clip. So check this out. Y'all got Umar out here fighting for his life. Now I know y'all have seen the video. Somebody called Umar with a female, you know, it, it, it's like this. Was, the video, was he hugged up on the female? Was he kissing the female or whatever? No, you know. He claimed that, you know, he looked at some incense or whatever. That's probably what he was doing. I don't know. But when you are pandering, to an audience that have a lot of extremist views and you have peddled a lot of extremist views who are then you can't do that even in his explanation this dude is on here putting out four different press releases making videos this dude is fighting for his career because boy if, if that person because that, that female they say she persian if that female if that stick to his his shoe like glue uh, like gum on the shoe Ooh, Umar's done. That's why he's doing all this talking. And he didn't made about two lives. He didn't made to put up a video. He had somebody go track the woman down and film the woman. Umar, brother. See, <laughs> you, you didn't done too much out here. See, you were doing all that talking about Shannon Sharp and, and, and Bronny James and all the stuff you were doing. But, bro, we saw the video. You, you had all 32 of them teeth showing, bro. And the way you talk on the Internet for years... You can't show 32 teeth with a non-African woman because he's the type of guy and his, the, I mean, the, the crowd that follow him, if you're, everybody's white. If you're not black, you're white. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we're not talking about real world. We're just talking about how they talk. Everybody's white. You know, you like the show, you ever seen a movie called uh, The Brothers or something like that with Bill Bellamy, his mama. And you, know, you remember that scene? Well, his, he was talking about, he was, she was calling everybody white. He say, mama, well, what is, what is she like Asian, mama? Oh, that's a white woman with slanted eyes. He said, what about if she like a uh, Hispanic? Oh, that's a white woman with a taco. Everybody white. You know, so he he's in the, he like the mom on uh, the brothers. So he can't talk to nobody. And he wants to get mad and say, I talk to all kinds of people. You can't. Not, the, not, not what you put out here on, on the streets. Talking about you buying it, looking at some incense and crystals. 
Why you didn't go look at a black woman's incense and crystals, Umar? All right, guys. You heard uh, what Brother Phil said. And again, I always like to give a, a shout out to the brother for uh, helping me understand the YouTube business more to grow my own personal channels. If it wasn't for him, um, I wouldn't be where I am today. And I always mention that on this particular, uh, on the channel, whenever I refer to him, he, he makes a great point. He makes a great point. You see, when you have a certain tonality in your rhetoric, you can't even be seen being cordial or flirtatious or skinning and grinning with a non-black women. The reason why is you go so hard on other black men who are in relationships with non-black women. And then when they see you, you're not, you know, looking like it's a business transaction. You look like, you know, you, you, you kneeling all the way down, laughing and stuff. It looks like you're interested in this young lady. Now, I, I believe exactly that Umar Johnson was not getting her phone number. Um, I do believe that Umar Johnson was, you know, just being himself or, you know, just basically maybe just passing the time and he was getting his things and he was leaving. And, you know, she was a fan and stuff like that. But Umar Johnson likes the attention of the ladies. Yes, even the ones that are non-black. But, but, but Brother Phil makes a strong point. You don't have any room for error when you come after black people for dealing with white people. And then when you get around on a woman, um, then you have an issue too. Now, what? so here's what you're going to say, right? And he brought this point up in the video. Well, she's Persian. She's not black. Well, I want to talk about what happened with Mr. Phil Scott. When uh, his first wife is, uh, was black, and then when he had a situation with uh, the woman that he's married to now, and, you know, like I said, he, he has a successful platform. People wasn't looking at the fact that she was a Latina. You know, people were coming after Brother Phil because his wife was not black. Okay? It, it doesn't matter that she was Latina, Asian, mulatto. I could even, I could even say this personally. If she had been even in, a, in, 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 in another part of the diaspora, let's say she's from, and I think it's going to get there, where a lot of black men are going to get questioned for dating somebody from Ghana, Sierra Leone, Nigeria. That is coming, right? Why not an African-American? Why, If you would date her, why not us? That's going to come sooner or later, but it is more favorable, okay? And I, I want to build on this because Dr. Umar Johnson doesn't leave a lot of room for error. You cannot talk with this same tonality and veracity about things. Um, and people in that pro-black circle that have that kind of venom, and I'm not saying those brothers are not uh, bad people, but it is somewhat of a venom, right? Like anything that's interracial thing is just looked at as very, very um, distasteful. And again, I, I'm a person that has similar beliefs when it comes to me. Um, I'm not involved in interracial relationships myself, uh, because I, I value the relationships of our people more. I would rather have a black wife when I get married. I would rather have a black family. Um, nothing against other women. I'm not saying that they're not attractive because there are. I've lived in Europe for seven years and I've seen some white women that I'm like, oh my God, like uh, some of the best women in my life I've seen here, okay? Especially that one time when I went to Ukraine, but that's a whole other story. But I don't also go out here and castigate people uh, like Dr. Umar does. I know that black men can still date out of their race and not hate black people or not hate black women. Um, and things happen because of you, you, you know, where your distance is for me personally, I don't do it, but if other black men do it, it's their own prerogative. Some of my best friends are married to, um, you know, white women or Asian women or even Polish women. Uh, but also Dr. Umar Johnson, he, you know, it does look like he was even, maybe he would even be interested in that kind of relationship, even though he didn't do it. What you see in that clip doesn't match his tonality on his Instagram lives. And he has been really trying to save face. He's addressed it multiple times. He's trying to explain it. And again, I don't believe that he was trying to get her phone number, but again, the fact that he kind of explains it and has to keep re-explaining it, it, it makes him even look even worse. But guys, what do you think? I mean, do you think that Dr. Umar Johnson has an interest in non-black women? Let me know. 
Hit me up in the comments. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.